Rincon de la Vieja volcano has erupted. This word, name of the Rincon de la Vieja means the corner of the old woman. And in the country of Costa Rica or rich coast, there is an eruption of this volcano at the moment on going on. Uh, it's a phreatic eruption, means that the magma is in contact with the water, so it creates a lot of steam, and the steam explodes when it uh, wants to erupt, when it is under pressure. And uh, it uh, blew out the top. In 1996, we had this eruption, similar to this, very big actually. And even 2017, we have another eruption, not at this scale of the 1996, but it was an eruption that was important. In that case, it is dangerous, because this volcano has access to a lot of water, aquifers are full, the crater lake uh, exists on top of it, is in the Costa Rica, as I mentioned, Cocos Plate undergoing uh, subduction under the Central American Plate, creating a Central American Trench. This, this uh, setting of this volcano is interesting. We have a volcanic arc, and in front of it, front of four arc. And these are, when you see four arc in front of the volcanic arc, that means definitely mud volcanoes. So we have these volcanoes doing a phreatic eruption. You can see the water is green. It means there are a lot of copper and sulfur. It's kind of sulfuric acid in a way. And uh, it can be dangerous. Uh, and in a way also uh, quite, uh, you know, devoid of any life in that sense because no no bacteria even cannot live in that unless uh, a few very hard, hardy ones. And the layering of this volcano shows on the crater wall that it has a history, rich history of eruptions, quite deep when you look at the crater down. And as I, as I mentioned, sulfur exists on this volcano also. That means sulfuric acid, a mixture of water. Uh, its setting is very similar to what we see in the Vancouver Island and the Macron of Iran. And uh, this is because of the, when the oceanic plate uh, hits the continental plate, it creates a wedge of uh, sediments from the oceanic uh, um, floor creating an accretionary prism, and through that we have the pressure rising, uh, liquefying whatever sediment is there, creating mud volcanoes. Costa Rica is famous for that, and there are many other similar places, as I mentioned in Canada and Iran, exist also in the Indonesia, we have them. It's a very interesting setting for that uh, uh, tourism event in that sense, quite far away from 